Hey guys, it is Mike from UyghurTech.com here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another iPhone or iPad tip. So the, what I'm going to be teaching you guys today is in Safari, in the browser, how to do private browsing and also how to open up a tab or a website that you have open on another device. And so let's just jump right in. So what we're going to do is we are going to go open up Safari. And when we open up Safari, you're going to be taken to your blank page or maybe you're taken to your last page that you are on. And let's say the first thing I want to show you guys today is how to open up a website that is open on another device. So if you click on the very bottom right hand corner, there's two squares that are right on top of each other. So we're going to tap that. And if you see on the bottom, it says my Michael's MacBook. And I'm going to pull this up here and it shows that I have a website open on my laptop and also on my iPad. Now let's say I want to open the Humane Society website that I had open on my iPad. All you do is tap it and it's going to open it right up and show the website that you wanted to open, which is very nice. A lot of times I'm looking at something on my phone or on my iPad or on my laptop and I just want to, you know, start using another device and use it and open it up. And so with that iCloud feature, as long as all your other devices are on your same iCloud account, then you can just open it right up and continue right where you left off. Really, really great feature. So we're going to close this at, we're going to close this web page real quick. Now let's say we want to go into private browsing. Now private browsing is going to not track your history, not allow your phone to take any cookies or anything like that. And it can be used for a lot of different purposes, but I'm going to show you guys just how to use it. So what, what we do is we again, tap on those two squares that are right on top of each other. So we're going to click on those top two squares. And if you see in the bottom left hand corner, there's now a private option. And so I'm going to tap that. And now I am in private mode. And so when I click back in and you can see the outside of the web browser turned like a dark gray and that's how you know you're in private browsing. So now you can just go to any website, do anything um, and not worry about your phone, keeping all that history and everything like that. So that is private browsing. All right, guys, there is one more thing I want to talk to you about. Buying razors to shave with is a pain in the butt. First of all, you've got to drive to the store. You've got to find the aisle. And then, of course, you've got to find a manager to unlock the overpriced razors so you can pay $20 for shaving technology that you guys don't even need. Have you guys seen the new pivot ball technology on these razors? I have an arm and a wrist for a reason. It pivots. I don't need that. I'm not gonna, I don't need to pay $20 for razors that are way overpriced. It's simply ridiculous. But I have a solution for you guys that I really, truly believe in. It is dollarshaveclub.com. Dollarshaveclub.com offers the best razors at a fraction of the price. What do I use? I use their 4X razor. Their 4X razor has four blades on it and an aloe vera strip to keep you moisturized. It is fantastic. It is high quality. It is, I believe, better than all the other brands I have tried, and I have tried them all. Awesome. And they even throw in the handle for free. High quality metal handle, not one of those cheap ones. It's fantastic. But they go beyond just the blades. You guys need to check out the Dr. Carver's shave line. First of all, you're going to use the shave butter. The shave butter is just like any other shaving cream, but it's better. It is clear. It goes on. You don't cut yourself with it. It leaves your face feeling moisturized, not dry. It doesn't dry your skin out like a lot of those other ones do. Simply fantastic. But then when you finish up, be sure to grab the Dr. Carver's Shave Post Shave Moisturizer Lotion. It is phenomenal. Makes your face feel all nice and smooth after you shave, you know, and it keeps your face moisturized for the next 24 hours. I look forward to shaving the next day just so I can use it again. They are that good. And if you want to go one step further, their One Wipe Charlies are man wipes for your butt. And they're peppermint scented and they leave you feeling fresh and clean down there after each time you go to the restroom. They are amazing. I seriously would not endorse anything that I do not believe in. I have been a dollarshaveclub.com customer for over two years now and I couldn't be happier to endorse a product I truly believe in. Seriously, pay a fraction of the price. Don't be paying $20 for razors. Pay six. Pay a fraction and get better razors. That's what they are. They're better razors. All this stuff fantastic. I look forward to getting this box each month. So if you guys enjoyed this video tutorial, go and hit that subscribe button up above. That way you guys can see all of my videos on my YouTube page. And if you guys want to know more about me, head over to UyghurTech.com. You'll also find all my videos over there and you'll find my weekly live tech show called Open Mic Night where I give you guys the latest and greatest in technology each and every week. That's Tuesday nights. I even do it live. It's live at seven o'clock on Tuesday nights. So check that out. But until I see you guys next time, tech on.